Welcome to Inside Digital Photo TV, coming to you from Photo Plus Expo here in beautiful New York City. Right now I'm here with Dan Steinar from Epson. We're talking about the brand new professional paper you guys just introduced. Now Dan, tell me about what's going on here. Well, in this area we are showing off our new exhibition fiber paper. This is a paper that we started to develop in January of 2005 when the Ultra Chrome inks first came to market and several of us saw the potential that we could do black and white imaging but the paper wasn't there. And for those of us who ever worked in a darkroom, it's usually you know the ones that have a little less hair on top, uh, we knew that there was something about the look, the feel, how something was uh, worked in the darkroom, yet we wanted all the benefits of the digital age. So we've been in development of this for a long time. I was actually an alpha tester on this because I was one of the few guys, I guess, you know, of a certain age that remember what it was like to smell fixer and, and Dectol and all those types of things. Uh, this paper wasn't right. It just wasn't right. There were some papers that hit the market maybe a year or so ago. And they were interesting, but the texture wasn't right. The texture got in the way of the image. And then we recently went to beta uh, because we felt the texture was right. It had this incredible DMAX. And we asked all of the beta testers, the way that you that will bring this to market is only if it's worthy of your brand. Would you be willing to put your name to this? And it all came back very unanimously, and that's what you see above us, the exhibition fiber paper is truly signature worthy. And all the images you see on the inside here were printed on the Stylus Photo R2400. They're of the images being signed by our Stylus Pros on the other side of the booth. And then, of course, this paper is available in a variety of different sheets from letter 11 by, I'm sorry, letter 13 by 19, 17 by 22, and 24 by 30. And throughout the booth on the other side, you're going to see a variety of images and that's the key to this. Uh, when I was working with my colleagues, I was so focused on black and white and F-surface, air-dried, and thinking of the great masters that some of my colleagues said, quote, dude, do you realize how great this is in color? And you're going to see this incredible variety of images, great DMAX in black and white, beautiful, rich, saturated colors. And really, for the first time that I'm aware of, at least in my lifetime, one paper does incredible color, incredible black and white with all the control that you have in the digital age showing great reverence and respect for the darkroom. I mean, it's really amazing. I mean, look at some of the stuff here from Greg Gorman in the black and white. Harry Bentz's color photograph. It's amazing that one paper can do both and serve it justice. The goal with this technology, and it's not just exhibition fiber paper, but it's with all of Epson products, is to create incredible technology that allows, that gets out of the way of the artist's intent so that the technology does not in inhibit, does not get in the way that when you look at this paper, and this is the paper that we're distributing here, that you don't go, wow, look at this paper. You fall into the image. You have a sense, a tactile sense of, yes, this is what great art should be on. And you're looking at the image and you're not looking at the paper. You're looking at the image, you're not looking at the dot structure. You're looking at the image, you're not looking at the highlight detail because the technology has gotten out of the way, really for the first time many would say in the history of photography, to allow all that creativity to come out. Now this paper you would explain typically do you like the photo luster paper and some of the other photo paper that has a uh, semi-gloss or gloss to it is like a plastic base and like you said it didn't really feel like a traditional photograph but this paper has that I don't know how you want to put it this tactile feel of like a real print from a you know that came out of chemical but it lays down right with ink and it's it's very interesting the way this has been put together well it's a very interesting double standard in many ways in photography uh, great photographs especially those that have been signed are usually framed behind glass Yet the judgment about the paper is usually how does it feel and what does it look like? And, you, and really good photographers are going to be doing this with the paper. They're going to be looking on edge here. They're going to be coming straight up here. They're going to be checking these things out, even though the viewing distance is like that. This is very much like a traditional fiber-based paper with long fibers that, that say fiber. Uh, but there's different ways to coat these products, and there's been some breakthroughs recently so that the type of coating does not interfere with the actual paper, the fiber surface. Uh, there are different ways of doing things into what some would call RC or resin coated. Some would say it has a plastic feel. Uh, some would say, um, to one particular photographer who I won't mention his name, but quote, gee, your premium luster paper reminds me of picnic tablecloth. Another very famous photographer absolutely loves premium luster. The beauty about inkjet is you have all these surfaces. But the one thing that was missing was that fiber. Then there was something also, and I lost on this one. Uh, I remember the darkroom, and anyone ever did F-surface ferrotyping, uh, or air-dried, the paper always had a curl to it. It was like a, uh, 
a loaf of French bread. No two are exactly the same. So I was going to my colleagues and the engineers saying, you know, we should put curl into the paper. We should cause a little level of pain so that people remember what it was like. And I lost that argument. <laughs> <laughs> I guess what, the best way to put the paper is when you hold it, it very, has a very organic feel to it. So it's, it's, it feels like real dark room, traditional photographic paper. It feels like a high quality paper that is collectible that is worthy of uh, great works of art and worthy of one signature. And it also has uh, the longevity of all of our other pigment-based products. And it has benefits that you could never do in the dark room. In the dark room, for those that had densitometers, remember those and even sensitometers, uh, the best silver gelatin prints that I was aware of, you could get a black D-Max of 2.4, 2.39, 2.41. Uh, through the advanced black and white mode, uh, through an Epson Stylus Pro 3800, we're measuring 2.6. What that means is that you get really deep, deep, rich, gutsy blacks. There's an image back here of Greg Gorman of a triptych of uh, three people from the Sudan who live in Rochester, New York. They're known as the Lost Boys. It's an interesting story because everyone thinks, wow, you know, Greg must have gone to Africa, shot this image, and, and they're known as the African series. And it was shot in the backyard of a person's house in suburban Rochester. <laughs> but it's all about lighting and understanding things. But you look at that, you could never get that before. Gutsy, rich, and the curve, you know, the centimetric curve on traditional materials would have a shoulder and it would tail off. This is very linear at the top, which means, especially with some of our new printers, you can go 16 bit, you can hold incredible detail in the deepest shadows and still get that great D Max. Now, this stuff is great. Now, uh, where and when? When can people buy this? Where can you get it? Of course, you have the brand new website. But where can they get the paper and when? Well, there's a couple of things. Uh, all the information about exhibition fiber paper can be found on the professional imaging website, which is www.proimaging.epson.com. We've also partnered with Pixel Genius, who is providing free custom profiles for these papers on specific Epson printers. And that information can be found at www.pixelgenius.com forward slash Epson. This is great stuff, and uh, we really appreciate it. And, uh... We look forward to seeing more stuff from Epson and all the great things you guys are doing. Oh, that's great. Thanks for coming today. There you go. Thanks, Dano. So there you go. Cool stuff from Epson. You can check them out over at proimaging.epson.com. We'd like to thank the sponsors of the Inside Digital Photo Television Program, Epson, Acme Educational, and, of course, Nick Software. We'll be back with more coverage from this year's show.